As ever, the master of ceremonies is Anne Robinson, but she's never been seen like this before. It always takes a bit of time to get used to doing your suit <clears throat> um, and start, you know, and know what you, and to learn what you can and can't do. It takes about an hour to get them into the costume alone. The whole thing is like armour. It goes on, bolts in places, lots of screws, and once they're in, it is quite restricting. I feel like the Tin Man. Sometimes that kind of movement you get is... That's the only way they can move. Whoa! Oh, I can't get at it. <laughs> it's OK. The materials we work with, they can be uncomfy and they can cut, they can graze, and we have to be very, very careful. Oh, stop. Oh. OK, is it? It's not like going into a Halloween shop, £20, I'll have that latex Halloween mask, and you put it on, one size fits all, and away you go. But these are custom fitted. You know, everyone gets a picture in their head of what they're about to get. You always butterflies in the stomach that you're going to wheel this thing in and go, Ta -da, and everyone's going to go, oh, right, OK, it's not how I saw it, you know. The very first time I saw your face My heart stopped beating Fell in love forever more. The very first time I heard your voice, somehow I knew. They're meant to look a bit 60s-ish, a bit retro. Um, you know, I love the, the face of the android is silver. It's silver like you expect sort of science fiction droids to be. Welcome to the Wiggers Inc. Somebody just played the voice of Anne Robinson in the background doing the questions and suddenly, you know, the fear, the adrenaline starts going through.